Good morning, traders. It's Monday, November the 8th. Just a quick update on the S&P 500 and my positions going into this week. As we talked about last week, the S&P 60-minute chart was in a channel and we had tagged the lower trend line numerous times but didn't get back up to the upper trend line. Uh, 1196 at the time was resistance and on Thursday and Friday we had a huge breakout on some hedge fund buying and margin calls and some selling on some big names like CSX etc. So what I'm watching here is this upper trend line uh, holding in this area flagging and perhaps uh, moving higher. Uh, the reason why I feel like that is because the G20 looks like they're coming to uh, agreement with a lot of uh, financial matters that will affect the markets. The dollar is moving lower and continues to be in a downtrend. The um, banks are looking a lot better and um, the mortgage mess looks like it's coming to a head. So uh, I don't know why my DX uh, chart isn't updating, but it's definitely moving down and uh, looks to make the market move uh, higher uh, as well. So sorry, I haven't had my first cup of coffee yet, but um, again, this is Cousin Vinny. Uh, coming to you from Day Trading Radio. Uh, look for us in the room. We'll talk about stocks. This is the real-time chart. ES. One minute. You can see we're moving higher. Uh, pivots right at this area. Uh, I'm sure NC Dave has already posted where he thinks uh, S&P will be for the day. Anyway, I need to have a cup of coffee. I can't hardly speak right now. Again, Cousin Benny coming to you from Day Trading Radar. Remember to take uh, profits, and we'll talk to you soon.